Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a review of some features of the Galaxy S3 that I think haven't been done in enough detail. So the first thing I'm going to look at is pop-up play. Now, everyone's seen pop-up play and know what it does, but uh, a lot of re reviews don't go into detail about where you can use it and um, where you can't use it. So let's go into videos and let's... Okay, here we go. It's already playing. It's already playing my favorite show, Top Gear. So this turns it into pop-up mode, pop-up play mode. And we all know that we've all seen this. You can um, use it over the browser. It works very well. Um, but let's see if it works on a game. So let's find a good game to play. Oops. Uh, let's try... Shadow Gun. Okay, here we go. So it's loaded. Resume. Okay, there we go, it's playing at the cutscene. The video is still running. Alright, so here we go. The game is running pretty well. Yeah, it runs just as it's supposed to. We still move the video around. Although, um, I don't think many people will actually be doing this. Okay, that's enough of that. Video is still going. Uh, let's see if it will work with the FM radio. So here we go. I'm gonna grab a hand headset. Gonna plug it in. Okay, the sound has gone to the earphones. Let's find the radio. There it is. Turn it on, and it looks like it's paused the video. Uh, so it's either radio or video. So if I start the video, start the radio, sorry, then the video stops. If I unpause the video, radio stops. Let me shut that on speaker. Okay, back to the pop play. So if I turn the radio on. Video has stopped. I'll just turn the speaker on. Yes, see. So you cannot use both radio and pop up play at the same time. Okay, so let's turn this off. Okay, another thing that um, a lot of people haven't looked at is the GPS performance of this phone. So I'm going to run GPS status, which is just here, and let's see how fast it gets a um, fix. So it sees 11 satellites, and it's found it's it's locked onto 12. Sees the, oh, it's got a lock already. So there you go. It's got really good GPS in there, and I guess that's because it uses both. American and Russian satellites. And another cool little feature of the Galaxy S3 that I haven't seen other phones have is the ability to create your own vibration pattern. So it's got some presets. Heartbeat. I don't know if you can hear that or
hope you can hear that. So here you can create your own one. And press stop and then you can play it back. Okay, I hope you can hear that. I'll try that again. And play it back. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is something called a share shot. So I happen to have two Galaxy S3s with me today. And share shot is something in the camera app, which I will run now. And it's in the shoot shooting mode settings. And here it is, share shot. Now I've never used this before, but uh, what it's supposed to do is uh, link the two devices or as many devices as you want. And whenever one device takes a photo, that photo should be available on all devices. So at the end of the the night or the day. If you have a bunch of friends, all with Galaxy S3s, you can use ShareShot, take photos, and when you all leave and go home, everyone has the same set of photos. So let's see how this works. So ShareShot enables you to share photos with other devices via Wi-Fi Direct. So okay. Okay, now I've got to probably have to do the same thing on this device here. Camera, share shot, okay. Have to turn it on. Turn this one on. Okay, now it sees that, it sees each other. Let's try that. Accept. Okay, now they're both connected to each other. There's a little, there's a little Wi-Fi icon here. Okay, now let's let's take a photo. Whoops. Okay, take a photo of the table. All right, now let's use this device. Oh, we can see the uh, photo is already showing up here. So if I take a photo of, say, this wallet. Okay, I have, I have a wallet here in my gallery. And look, the wallet is also in this gallery. So the photo taken with this phone is now on this phone as well. So let's look at that. Cancel that. There it is. Let's try it one more time. Back out of that. All right, using this device, the right device, we'll take a photo of a uh, stapler. Okay, photo taken using this device, and now on this device, don't know if it's updated yet, it has not updated yet, let's tap on that, no, all we see is the wallet, I guess it hasn't updated yet, but let's try taking a photo of this one, it is, it is updated on this device, the photo taken with this one is now on this one. There you go. And then you can see the same photo on both devices. Taken with this one, but appearing on both devices. It's pretty useful, I believe. But then again, you need all your friends to have the same phone. Okay, let's quit this. Now, the last feature I want to talk about and show you is something, it's called S-Beam. Now everyone knows what S-Beam is, but let's see what you can actually use it for, to, what, what you can send using it. In the demos we've seen it sending photos and sending um, videos. Now let's try sending a um, APK. So let's go to my file. Okay, so I already have a um, app here that I wrote. Now let's see if we can actually send it using S-Beam. 
Okay, here we go. No, you cannot. Nothing comes up at all. So you cannot send that. Maybe if I open the app, we can send it. Let's try that. Okay, here we go. No risk. Oh, this screen's off. Okay, here we go. Oh, it takes you to the market. But this app isn't on the market. So it's not going to work. So it looks like you cannot send APKs. Or I haven't figured out how. So let's try something else. Let's try sending a um, music file. So I have a uh, payphone. Let's turn that off. Let's see if we can send this. And you can! So you can send music files and it's already started playing. That's pretty interesting. And um, yeah, so we've seen it can send photos, videos and music. But uh, have not figured out how to send APKs. Maybe it's not possible. So yeah, that's my uh, quick review of some features that I feel haven't been looked at in detail by other people. Thanks for watching.